go for it. Okay, on the assumption that you're dealing with a company which hasn't changed what it does, the business model is not change, there have been no surprises from year to year, this is what you expect to see in a set of financials. You expect to see sales going up to a level that you can validate. You expect to see gross profit margin, operating profit margins and net profit margin broadly in line with previous years because as your costs go up, you pass it on to your customers. When you look at your profit figure, you then ask yourself, well, this figure is good vis-a-vis -vis what? Well, the first measurement is return on equity where the shareholders are saying, how well have you actually used our capital? So net profit divided by ROE, give, divided by net asset value, gives you ROE. But you, you then take the point, well, hang on, you have also borrowed money, chances are. And debt is just another form of capital. So therefore, I will measure you on ROC, which takes into account the net asset value and the loans, because debt is a form of capital. So you borrowed money. Let's have a look at that. We call this gearing, which is the relationship between debt and equity. You've borrowed money. Why have you borrowed money? Are you making a loss? Yes, no. Is it because you, you need to fund your working capital? Well, let's have a look. You then go and do a full analysis of the working capital gap and see if indeed there is a gap. Or you could have borrowed money to fund fixed assets, which is capital expenditure. If you've bought assets, what have you bought? And how well are you using those assets? and we measure that by return on assets. And finally, when all is said and done, the cash flow analysis should support all of the above. End of.